Colombia was originally supposed to host the 1986 World Cup, but due to the 24 team competition, they did not have the necessary financial resources to hold the games, and in 1982 they withdrew from hosting. Canada, the United States, and Mexico submitted proposals for hosting, but in the end, it was Mexico that was able to become the first country to host the World Cup twice, due to its influence in FIFA. During the process of negotiations to select a replacement host, former U.S. Secretary of State Henry Kissinger, who headed the U.S. Bidding Committee, said, The politics of soccer make me nostalgic for the politics of the Middle East. Finally, the 1986 World Cup was held in Mexico with two teams from Asia, two teams from Africa, two teams from North America, four teams from South America, and 14 teams from Europe. The tournament format also changed a lot and became very similar to today's World Cup. 24 teams competed in six four-team groups, then the first two teams of each group went to the round of 16 along with the four third teams with better results, and the matches continued knockout until the finals. Italy, Argentina, Bulgaria, and South Korea were in Group A. Argentina's star Maradona, who was inexperienced in the previous World Cup, seemed very ready for this cup. He played a very important role in his team's first match against South Korea, which ended with a 3-1 victory for Argentina. View of Maradona in the second half, and Valdano makes it three. Again, and the skip, the skipper, yes, he scores! Mark Jang Sung and listen to the delight in the crowd. Also, in the game against Italy, which ended in a 1-1 draw between the two teams, Maradona scored for Argentina. The distance between Italy and Argentina football was very big with Bulgaria and South Korea. As a result, the two teams did not have the difficult task to advance from Group A. Group B was formed by host Mexico with Belgium, Paraguay, and Iraq. Although the competition of this group was closely followed, none of the teams seemed to have a chance to win the championship. Iraq ended its only appearance in the World Cup without a point. In Group C, France, the Soviet Union, Hungary, and Canada competed. The most sensitive game of the group between France and the Soviet Union ended with a 1-1 to -one draw. Hungary, which had advanced to the finals of the games in the past, was no longer strong and lost to the Soviet Union 6-0. Canada, like Iraq, could not score points in its first appearance in the World Cup. The teams of Brazil, Spain, Algeria, and Northern Ireland were in Group D. The first match of the group was between Brazil and Spain. The referee disallowed the validated goal of the Michel Spanish striker to give Brazil a lucky 1-0 win in their first game. The two teams did not face any particular problem to win against Northern Ireland and Algeria and went to the second round of the games with authority. West Germany, Uruguay, Scotland, and Denmark were the teams in Group E. A group that was known as the Death Group of Games, Denmark looked brilliant in their first appearance at the World Cup. After beating Scotland and Uruguay, they also won 2-0 against the world runners-up, West Germany. Scotland and Uruguay also set a record in the last game that was full of the violent match. Jose Batista fouled Strawn before the first minute and the referee sent him off with a straight red card. In the end, the game ended with a goalless draw. Denmark and West Germany confirmed their promotion from this group. A historic event took place in Group F. Morocco, who had drawn their first and second games against Poland and England, faced Portugal in the last game. By winning 3-1 in this game, 
they became the first African team to advance to the second stage of the World Cup. Due to the better goal difference, England was the second team in the group and confirmed its promotion to the round of 16. At the end of the group matches, the third teams of each group were ranked in a table and the first four teams went to the next stage of the games. One of the closest games in the round of 16 was between Belgium and the Soviet Union. The game ended 90 minutes with a 2-2 draw and went to extra time. Belgium scored two critical goals in the 102nd and 110th minutes. The Soviets tried to compensate and in the 111th minute, Belenov was able to score a hat trick and make the difference one goal. One goal that was never compensated and eliminated the Soviet Union from the tournament. Italy, the defending champion, faced France in this stage. France was able to end Italy's reign with the two goals of Platini and Stopera and make it impossible for them to win the fourth championship. Finally, France, West Germany, England, Spain, Belgium, Brazil, Argentina, and Mexico reached the quarterfinals. The most famous game of this stage is the game between Argentina and England, a game that may have been seen more than the final of this World Cup. A game in which Maradona became a permanent champion for the Argentines. The relations between the two countries were still murky due to the Falkland War, which was fought between the two countries a few years before the World Cup, and the two teams faced each other at the peak of sensitivity. In the 51st minute, Maradona scored the first goal for Argentina with his hand. The referee did not notice the hand foul and accepted the goal. After the game, Maradona said that the goal was scored, a bit with the head of Maradona and another bit with the hand of God. For this reason, this goal became known as the hand of God. Four minutes later, Maradona took the ball from the middle of the field and started moving towards the goal. No one could stop him. He dribbled five English players in front and finally, he scored a fantastic goal. This goal was chosen as goal of the century in 2002 on the FIFA website. England's attempts to compensate worked with Leinker's 81st-minute goal, but they could not escape defeat and the game ended 2-1. In Argentina, this game is known as the revenge for the Falkland War. The winner of the other three games of this round was determined by penalty kicks and Belgium, France, and West Germany reached the semi-finals along with Argentina. The first semi-final was between West Germany and France. West Germany scored early in the ninth minute by Brema. The game continued with the same result until the 89th minute Waller scored the second goal for West Germany as they reached the World Cup final for the third year in a row. In the other semi-final game, Argentina and Belgium faced each other. Argentina, with the energy they got from the game against England, doesn't seem to have any problem winning against Belgium, especially since their star Maradona was better than ever. Maradona scored two more goals for Argentina in this game. Argentina became the opponent of West Germany in the final with these two goals. Belgium lost to France 4-2 in their last game and reached fourth place in the games. On June 29, 1986, Estadio Azteca hosted the World Cup final for the second time. Maradona, who did not perform well in the previous World Cup, turned all the attention to himself in this World Cup. 
West Germany was not a team based on one player. The Germans had reached a special team style to repeat the success. The game started in front of 114,600. Brown scored the first goal of the game in the 23rd minute for Argentina. In the 55th minute, Valdano increased the difference to two goals. While it seemed that the victory of Argentina was certain, the Germans were not disappointed. In the 74th minute, Rummenigge made up for one of the goals. Six minutes later, Waller scored the equalizer for Germany. A wonderful return from West Germany. But the Argentine team had a superhero. Maradona passed to Burachaga in the 83rd minute to score the winning goal for Argentina. West Germany experienced defeat in the final for the second year in a row. Argentina was able to reach a first place with the magic of Maradona. This was Argentina's second World Cup title. English Gary Lineker became the top scorer of the tournament with six goals and Maradona became the best player of the tournament with his brilliant performance. In 52 games of this tournament, 132 goals were scored, 14 of which were the share of Argentina, who had the strongest offensive line of the tournament. Maybe this tournament gave a trophy to the Argentines, but the bigger gift of these games was to all football friends in the world. A player whose magic with the ball will never be forgotten. A player who is not with us today, but his memory is always in our minds. Creator of goal of the century, the great Maradona. Please subscribe to the Final Matches channel and share our videos with your friends.